Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about building your own custom TurboStream actions for your Rails applications. Now, out of the box, when you're using TurboStreams, there are seven actions you can use. You can append things, prepend, replace, update, uh, remove, and before and after. These are the built-in ones, and you can use these. They're great. They do... Uh, Good job for a lot of things, but there are situations where you might want something custom, and we're gonna dig into setting that up. So let's dig in first and build a little um, a little button that will actually trigger a turbo stream so we can simulate that um, and build our own custom ones to test out. So let's dig in by going to our um, example action that I have set up in our Rails app here. Uh, this can be any action you want, but you're going to want it to respond to the TurboStream format. And we will then go into our home index view here and make a button to do something. And it's going to go to that example path. It's going to have a method of get because that's what I set up the route for. And if you're doing uh, forms with get as your format, you're going to need to add the data turbo stream is true onto that. So that attribute will allow turbo streams for that form. Otherwise it will not by default and treat it like a page view um, or whatever. So uh, what we want to do here is we want to add our own um, turbo stream to this, but first let's click that button.